Hi Sam, thanks for joining me today. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, we're just, you know, we're going to be talking about the Forest for Launceston. Obviously, um, people know quite a bit about it anyway. They've seen a lot about it on uh, social media, but um, it would be great to find out a bit from you about the project and how it's going to benefit the community. Yeah, um, awesome. so, let's do it. Yeah, tell me a bit more about the project. Um, so the project itself, Forest for Launceston, was founded um, after a survey was carried out um, and we sort of identified the community who wanted more green space in Launceston. Um, you know, so then we sort of initially identified what was available and then progressed to see what further sort of assets might be available to develop and improve. Um, you know, we've since been approached by landowners who may not have the energy, the funds or the experience to develop the land. Um, and that's where we come in. Okay. You know, we've been extremely blessed with the support we've received from Cornwall Council and Forest for Cornwall. You know, there's other local community groups and I should give a special thank you to the donators who supported our crowdfunder campaign. Um, without them, you know, the positive impact in our community, it may not have been possible. Mm. Okay. So. And, how, and how did you get involved? Is it something you know, you've been involved with outside of this as well, like work-wise or something you're um, interested in? Yeah, so... The, the Forest of Launceston is, is run completely by volunteers uh, and my normal day job is, is I work up at Deer Smith. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so as Europe's biggest recycler of paper and cardboard, you know, we make fully recyclable um, paper-based packaging anyway. Uh, and you know, we're working with companies to find more sustainable solutions. Uh, we've wor recently worked with Asda to remove a million pieces of plastic. And that's going to save over 21 tonnes of CO2. Um, you know, so in my normal day job, we're taking the opportunity to sort of shake up the, the green and circular economy. Uh, and I've been fortunate enough to represent Deer Smith as part of its community engagement team. Uh, and part of that was I took part in the Launceston Climate Change Action Group headed by Councillor Neil Burden. Yeah. Um, it was through this group we were able to put together a working group of like-minded individuals who want to improve the environment. Um, that's either through, you know, increasing tree canopy or capturing to capture CO2 uh, or improving community assets to improve the health and well-being of the community. Um, and then the final piece of the puzzle was um, obviously Ellie and the Lawson Life team um, yeah. came aboard and using their expertise to support us and our vision. Um, and the rest is history, as they say. Fantastic. Um, and so what is the overall vision then for the project? Um, I think we sort of tend to take nature for granted. Mm. I believe it depends on how we choose to act. You know, we can either let nature go and hope for the best or we can act uh, now and repair, restore and maintain it for the generations to come. Um, so our vision is to improve and develop our environment because it's where we live, we rely on it and it's up to us to care for it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the added benefit to this will be we can engage people through education, through planting and caring for trees. You know, we can also support activities that will benefit the health and well-being of our community. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. And um, yeah, so what's the timeline like? Right, like, when will the community be able to start using the forest? Um, it's a good question. Yeah. Uh, the, the community, you know, the, the project is starting to gather momentum. Um, as you can uh, appreciate, there's lots of moving parts. Yeah. Uh, and it's critical we make sure everything is in place before the woodland is open to the public. Mm -hmm. Not only to keep the public safe, but to protect the woodland itself. Um, there's a long list of boxes we need to tick, but progress is good. And we've started to put together plans for what the site will look like. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're holding the public consultation later on in the year. Yeah. Uh, so the public can have their input into the okay. project. So, yeah. Fantastic. And um, how important is it, do you think, to be able to provide more green space for the community? Like how, and how, how will it um, benefit people as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it's important to have contact with nature because, you know, for children and adults, contact with nature is linked to you know, better health, less stress, um, you know, better moods. And, you know, it's an amazing list of benefits that mm. no other product you know, comes close to. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there's a fine line between protecting the environment by leaving it alone yeah. and people getting in touch with nature. Um, but fortunately, you know, we've got the right support to get that balance right. 
Fantastic. And um, yeah. I, I know as part of the plan says, you know, there's plans to make it inclusive to everyone. So, you know, children to disabled people as well. And that's it. Yeah. Is that been definitely part of the yeah. Plan? Yeah. Everyone, as you know, community means everyone. Yeah. So, you know, children, adults. Um, as we like I say, it's getting the balance and yeah. you know, we're going to do our best to get the community involved, get them in there, get them yeah. out to nature. So. Yeah. Fantastic. And will there be an opportunity for the community to sort of, you know, pitch in with any work that needs doing at the site? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. percent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The more volunteers, the better, I think. Brilliant. Um, we're currently working on our website and you know, people can visit that, which is forestfonster.co.uk. They can yeah. get on there and have a look and um, there'll, be, there'll be opportunity to sign up for the newsletter and volunteering opportunities. Fantastic. So, yeah. Brilliant. Is there anything else you'd like to add that people should know about? No, I'm happy. I mean, follow our progress on Lawson Life, obviously. Yeah. Keep up to date with that um, on the website, or you can contact me at sam at forestforlawson.co.uk. Fantastic. All right. Well, thank you so much for okay. um, joining us today, Sam, and for telling us a bit more about it. Um, yeah, sure. You know, it's, it's a fantastic project and we're really excited to see where it goes and eventually we'll all be you know be able to use it and it'll be great yeah yeah definitely great thanks very much Sam okay thanks Rosie bye, -bye.